Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I have something pretty interesting. Um, I am going to be setting up a new thermal label printer. I've never used one before and I am hoping it's going to make shipping things a whole lot easier and less expensive. So stay tuned. Okay, here is what the printer looks like. It's the Polono. I'm probably butchering that name, uh, label printer. I got it from Amazon and there was a coupon when I bought it. So I think I got it for $108.99, something like that. And then I also got some fan fold shipping labels. There's 500 of them and they're four by sixes. So I'm gonna open up the printer and we are going to set this bad boy up. Like I said, I've never used one of these before ever, but I imagine it's going to make printing labels a whole lot easier, a whole lot faster, and a whole lot cheaper. So I'm guessing this is probably cords and stuff. Give me a second, I'm gonna pull this out. So this is everything that you get. There's a box of stuff, some cords, a little lanyard attachment. I'm not really sure what, wait, am I crazy? That's a USB, but what are you supposed to do with it? <laughs> and a quick start guide. And then this is what the printer looks like. It's pretty sleek looking, I think. It's pretty nice. Okay, so I, <laughs> I'm just an idiot. I thought this piece was supposed to like, something was supposed to come out of it, but it literally just plugs into your USB on your computer. And um, I also built this and that little brown box was your paper loader thingamajig. So that was pretty easy to put together. And I'm just going to plug this into my little USB. All right, so I, and this is a Mac. So I think that's it right here. All right, so it is. And the options I have is digital manual, quick start guide, driver. I'm gonna go with the installer package, which is this bottom one here. It says this package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed, allow. All right, so welcome to the driver setup wizard. Continue and continue. 91 kilobytes, all right. Oh, use my password, okay. That's one of the things I, oh boy, that was quick. All right. Well, I'm assuming that's installed. I was gonna say one of the things I really love about my Mac is my little fingerprint to unlock a bunch of stuff. It's pretty sweet. Um, okay, so now I have, so you have your main power cord, just like any other, um, just like any other printer. Oh, whoops. So that goes right up top here. Okay, and I already have it plugged in. And then I'm assuming I'm gonna eject the installer here. And then I'm gonna keep this thing though, just in case I need it. I'm going to, this is your other, this is how it communicates with your computer. So I'm just going to plug that in. Okay, so I have it set up. All right, hopefully I'm doing this all right. Loading the roll. Power on the printer and adjust the paper guides to fit the width of the paper. Okay. Oh, I have it. <laughs> I have it sitting the wrong way. Um, insert the paper into the external uh, paper roll inlet. Okay. And then the paper will automatically feed into the printer. Hmm. Sounds simple enough. Let's see. It's supposed to sit like this. Oh, okay. It's starting to look a little better here. This is just, I have the most ghetto setup right now. I'm not even gonna lie. And obviously you can already tell, but 
It is just whatever. Okay, peeling this off. Ooh, it looks blue on the camera, but it's purple, which I'm fine with that. Okay, so then I'm gonna put my tray behind it. All right, I set this up. If Okay, can somebody tell me, what is this part? What is that for? Do you put the paper over or under it? Like that? But won't that, that won't like come out right. So it's gotta be under it. Somebody help me out. What is, what is this for? Anyway, okay, I'm going to, there's a little power button back here. I'm gonna turn that on. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. Now what do I do? Do I hit that? Alright. That was cool. Okay, now I'm guessing that means it's out of paper. Killer. Now I'm gonna load this in. Into this little back tray. Get that in there. Okay. So now it's loaded. It's locked and loaded. I feel really weird about that setup right there. What? It, why does that look so goofy? I'm gonna look it up. I mean, I I guess I did it right. I get that. Uh, whatever. Just looks kind of goofy. But um, now I'm going to go into my eBay and print a label to see what it looks like. I need to figure that out. Shipping labels. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Okay, I'm about to hit it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna print another reprint label. Here we go. Let's watch it in action. Oh, it's still selected to my old printer. Okay, polo no. All right, let's, okay, I'm about to hit it. Crap. I fed them in wrong. <laughs> They're backwards. They are backwards, so, uh... Hold, please. Okay, I fixed it. Let's try this again. Here we go. I'm about to hit it. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, that looks like sh Not good. So, when you go to print a shipping label from eBay, normally it looks like that. And then there's that little button. There's that little button right there to rotate it. I'm gonna try that. Okay, now I got it like, like that. Let's try that. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I have to look this up. I don't know what's happening. So I'm pretty sure I figured it out. But the thing is, I don't think I can test it without... Hmm. Let me try to word what I'm trying to say. So, when I go here to reprint label, it doesn't allow me an option to change my paper size, but when I print another label, your normal, when you go to buy a shipping label, what it looks like. Over here, on the order detail side, when you hit show more, you can go down and change that. Then you can change it to the four by six. And I think that's what you have to do. But I can't do that unless I'm buying a shipping label and right now I don't have one to to buy so I'm gonna see if I can find just like a template online because I want to see what this thing looks like it looks like it's printing pretty well as you can see the um it looks really clear there's no um yeah that looks pretty good so let's see if we can find one online 
All right, I think I found it. I went on pirate ship just to look for a sample label and the uh, four by six ones, they look like this. So let's try it again. Moment of truth, three, two, one. I did it. I set this up and it actually printed. All right, we have to take a closer look. Ooh, easy rip. Okay, let me take away my, my oopsies. Look at that. Whoa. Let's stick it to something. <laughs> okay, all right, look. I'm gonna peel it. Oh my God, I don't have to cut the paper from the regular printer anymore. It feels sticky. Ready? Let's pretend I'm shipping this. Oh, here's my item. Let me, nope. Let me just, oh, here it is. Now let me stick my label on it. Ready? Oh, uh, no. Okay, that will have to do. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Hmm. Well, that wasn't the best example. Um, however, I think it's pretty cool. Check out the perks, guys. Small printer. You can save it on paper because you can just get a roll of 500 for not even that much. I don't even know how much I spent on it, but I didn't spend that much, like $12 maybe. The, there's no ink. You're never gonna spend another cent on ink because it's just thermal. It's just heated on there, burned into the paper. And and they're peel. I mean, you don't have to do any cutting. You don't have to cut labels off and then you don't need to work. I mean, you don't use tape on them or nothing like that. So overall, I think it's a good investment, especially if you're if you're only selling like one item, a few items a week, I would say you probably don't need to. But once you start hitting that five, 10 items a week mark, and you know you're gonna continue to sell on eBay, it's probably a good good thing to invest in a label printer, I think. That was the Polano. Is it Polano or Polono? I don't know, but that's the printer I got. And that's what I reviewed. And I can say the instructions are a little vague. If you're kind of on the idiot side side like me, I can tend to be kind of an idiot sometimes. Uh, it can be a little confusing, but really it's super simple. I would give the setup of it about an eight out of 10 just for it showing you what you need to do. Like even in the instruction manual, the quick start guide is the only thing you get. It didn't mention the software USB at all. So if you're kind of kind of a dummy with technology, you'll probably be a little bit lost for a minute. Um, and uh, I'd say the, the quality of it and the speed and all that, honestly, I'm easy to please. 10 out of 10, baby, Woo, what's going on? And 108, like $108 compared to like the Rolo and some of the other ones, it's a lot cheaper too. So, hey, you know what? I don't know about the longevity of this thing, but so far so good. I'm happy with it. Future Kimmy here, coming at you with a little bit more info. I've had time to kind of play around with this thing and use it a little bit more. And I have a couple things I'd like to say. And everything I'm gonna say has nothing to do with the printer itself. The printer itself is solid. I like it, no issues. Other than, <laughs> other than when my Mac updated and I lost the driver somehow, for this printer on my computer. So good thing I kept the USB and I had to quickly re-download the driver, which wasn't a big deal for me, but make sure whatever printer you get, don't discard the driver. I'm sure you can find it online easy enough, but okay. Anyway, back to what I was gonna say. So my issue is with the labels. Number one, your tray of labels needs to be further back than you think because I was doing it up here and it would get really clustered. <clears throat> the other thing is these I've noticed get stuck together and then I'll have 10 of them or, you know, maybe that's probably an exaggeration, but I would have 
several of them go through at once and it would clog the whole thing up and I would have to open it and clean it, blah, blah, blah. So these I'm not too thrilled with. Like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you're new to this channel, again, my name is Kimmy and uh, this is kind of my series on my, my journey of selling on eBay. And I think I'm about six weeks in right now I have a full-time job that I do, so I, you know, spend uh, maybe a couple hours a day on my eBay stuff, and so far, so good. I mean, I've made a little bit of traction, so, and I hope to continue that. Alrighty, guys, take care, and we'll see you on the next one.